A lot of my Bass B builds have been focused around maximizing damage range. And something I never sat back to notice is that it's not really necessary over here in multiplayer, to be honest. I really tried it out. It still got very good damage range, very good TTK without the addition of damage range type attachments, especially because a lot of the maps in this game are medium or small maps. Unless you're playing on a map like Invasion, you're not really going to notice too big of a difference when it comes to that damage range. You're always going to be within that maximum damage range. So at the end of the day, I focus still on recoil control, but didn't target so much of that damage range, meaning it's going to be a little bit of a better aggressive choice. My first attachment here is the Ravage 20 Heavy Stock for gun kick, recoil control, fire aiming stability. Basically what I just talked about in the intro, it's going to increase a lot of your recoil categories. 21% to the gun kick, 4% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. Our next attachment is the STT 88 Grip. I feel like a broken record here, and I feel like I'm going to feel like a broken record the rest of the build. Gun kick, fire aiming stability, and recoil control, but all of these attachments are necessary at the end of the day. Even though they do all of the same things, all these statistics add up. This is going to give you an additional 10% to the gun kick, 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. My next attachment is a magazine. As always, magazines are preferences. You can go with whatever you want here. There's not much to talk about. My personal preference is the 30, but I do know a lot of people enjoy the 45 round mag here as well. For the underbarrel, you're going to want the paracord grip. It's going to speed up your weapon along with give you more recoil control 15 percent to that horizontal recoil control 4 percent to the base movement speed 7 percent to the ads movement speed and 12 percent to the sprint to fire speed an absolutely fantastic attachment when building a weapon a little more aggressive and still getting recoil out of it in our final attachment is the quartermaster suppressor i just recently posted this attachment and it's absolutely awesome i think you're going to be seeing this on a lot of my builds going into the future 10 percent to the gun kick 23 percent to the horizontal recoil control and 10 percent to the vertical recoil control sure it's got some negatives of ads and sprint to fire but when you have positives like this amount of recoil control it's hard not to throw it on it just outweighs the rest of the muscles in the game there's going to be all those attachments on the screen if you guys wanted to pause the video to also copy all do no, copy it down there's no also copy it down go into game give it a try you're gonna absolutely destroy some people and as always here's the rest of the loadout if you guys wanted to copy it down perk for perk lethal tactical whatever you guys are looking to copy down copy it down we're gonna jump into a gameplay feature this damage monster this no recoil monster it's the bass b there's not much else to say Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. Over here in Departures, we have the Bass B. I've definitely been experimenting a lot with attachments. So what I wanted to do was chuck on the new underbarrel and the new muzzle. See how this performs. I've already played around with it. So I'll, I'll spoil it a little bit. It's super easy to use. You could probably chuck a barrel on here if you wanted to. But I think I'm going to be better off. Like for my personal play style, I don't think I need to... I don't think I need to add that barrel on. I don't think it needs extra damage range. I'm never in a situation where I'm taking super long range fights. It's just not my play style. A little bit of a rocky start, not gonna lie to you. Super aggressive from the other team's perspective, so I'll give them credit where credit's due. They're all up in my face. I know there's a knifer. All right, should have some action here. There they are. Got a UAV. There is a knife or somewhere. Knife in my squad. I'm going to rotate around and try to get spawns here. I don't think I'm going to get them, though. I think they're going to spawn here. I need my UAV ping. This guy's hunting me. There we go. Watch this way. No. Okay, they're going to be over here. They just spawned behind me. Advanced UAVs in. We're going to hit that right away. Yep. That was a good move. Guy scares me. That's the knife where he scares me. Horrifies me. I can't believe I'm alive. I'm going to be honest. 
I actually can't believe it. Everything has been fighting against me, and I'm somehow locking this in right now. I'm on a 22. I'm scared of this hill. For good reason, actually. Advanced UAV. That's what we needed. Did I get it? I died one off, bro. 29! 29! Why did I push that? I'm such a freaking moron! Oh, that was such a perfect start for what it was. Perfect. And I messed up so bad. I got aggressive, which obviously suits me. I'm always very aggressive. That works, but not in this particular case. Oh, that's so tragic. There's another advanced, and that's good because I need it real bad. I'm already back in it. There we go. We're back in it again. Holy, there's so much time, man. I have 54. I have 54 freaking kills. They still here? There's one. Fans UAV. Now the question is, do I just hold this? No, that right there should be my answer. Absolutely not. That answers my question. I'm frying so badly that the chokes are just kind of unbelievable. They just spawned here. I don't have a... I don't have a nade to throw at him. That's a 22. I'm running. UAV's in. VTOL's in. We're going to make sure this protects us. Okay. I almost choked. We're not choking this time. I've choked twice. Can't happen anymore. I need them to push up. I gotta turn around. This is where I choked last time. Deja vu. Twenty-eight, too. Literally the same circumstances. This is a spot. I didn't know that was a spot. All right. We're looking at our mini map. Let's go, man. I um, mm, wasn't going to happen again. I don't have ammo or a chance to reload at the moment. They're all around me.
Nasty flank. Now I have a Superior in hand too. Advanced UAV, all that stress for nothing. VTOL it right now. Get it right in the middle. Save us a little bit of trouble here. Other than the fact I just dropped it on myself. There we go. Spawn behind us. Spawn on both sides of us. I died either way. I can't be mad, man. I can't be mad. Everything has ended up working out in my favor, and I'm really close to 100. There we go. There's one. New cool gamer tag, YT. Huh. Oh, that was a three piece. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. The feed on that one. And just in time for another veto. Where did this guy go? There he is. Well, I wanted to keep this going. I don't think it's probable though. Looks like team's gonna jump the hill. Got 50 seconds of game here. If they wanna push, they should come here. Come, come right through here. Right through here for me. Nah, I'm gonna hit nuke. Game is going to be deuces. That's it. I don't know if anybody's rounding this corner. Hundred and thirty three kills with the Bass B. That let that speak volumes to you.